Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and today's video is going to be a what I eat in a week. What I eat in a week? Yeah, everything I ate this week um, video. <laughs> kind of chaotic kind of all over the place but yes it's everything that i eat in a week while i was on a work vacation trip if you want to call it that basically i went with my grandma to a different state she had her vacation i worked because i had major projects going on so there's that but before we get into today's video i would ask that you give this video a thumbs up if you like any portion of this video and subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that i am doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and now without any further ado let us get into this what i eat in a week video know where they can follow you. You can follow me at Silky Ganache. Okay, this goes in here. So I've had more of the Van Leeuwen ice cream. I've never had this flavor before. The caramel cookie one, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, oat milk caramel cookie. It's actually very delicious. And then for the Ritz crackers, I actually had an entire uh, row of them. I had like a handful at first, and then I was just like, nah, I'm going to have a row. So I'm coming off my period, so I'm craving all the things and kind of giving into it. That's also why I have some hormonal acne here, because I'm, you know, giving into my cravings. The sweets is literally what causes me, like, excessive amounts of sweets is what causes me to have hormonal acne. But I've noticed if I have, like, a little bit too much sugar. And sometimes it also is just, like, my hormones. So. Just wanted to give an update there. <laughs> so I finished work pretty late, <laughs> even though I'm out of town, but whatever. I went into the living room because my grandma's watching TV and I was just like, oh, I see a wine glass out. Have you finished? Uh, have you like had a glass of wine yet? She's like, yeah, I already did. So I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine from my favorite place, Trader Joe's $3 peach wine. going to have this.
a so i just took a vitamin and i'm having my carrot ginger turmeric juice with a banana <laughs> and that's the update <laughs> I have to take like I have to consume food with the vitamin at least that's what it says and I just take a vitamin D it's the only vitamin that I take looking into other vitamins to take maybe a B12 I think but I want to check with my doctor first before I start taking supplements you know what I'm saying anyway I have a meeting in about seven minutes so I'll check you later So I woke up this morning with some pain in my lower abdomen and had to go to Sprouts and buy myself some cranberry juice because I'm not in Colorado so I'm just like okay if it is a UTI I can at least drink pure 100% cranberry juice I don't drink that cranberry juice cocktail if I feel like something's going on and I may or may not have a UTI I drink cranberry juice like the really tart stuff and honestly it's not that bad well when you first try it you're just you're like that's real tart but if you put it with ice it kind of helps with the tartness but yeah that's what I'm currently having right now um, I think I'm also gonna cook up some salmon and have a salad with some avocado so I might do that but yeah my lower abdomen has just been like in a lot of pain and I'm just like oh it could be a UTI I don't know and it was interesting too because I was planning on going swimming too so I'm glad I'm not doing that um, just don't want anything to irritate my body you know what I'm saying I don't want anything to irritate my body also I've been really enjoying this hairstyle I've just been putting like two braids in the front and then putting my hair up in a bun and then just you know have my jewelry out on display girl and i kind of like it so i think i'm gonna do this hairstyle for a minute maybe like braid the rest of my hair so i have like some sort of a curl pattern and then just wear my hair out like very naturally i think i scratched my eye too hard <sighs> but yeah currently just drinking away this cranberry juice um, and feeling a little bit sorry for myself. I hate when I have like pain like this. I haven't had a UTI, but I get like the symptoms sometimes of having a UTI. And I think it's just because my body is just like really sensitive to certain things. So yeah, there's someone outside. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I just like to take precautions and drink as much of this as possible and then when I get back home I'll schedule an appointment to get myself tested for a UTI and then if I need to go on antibiotics I can do that because a UTI can be very serious if it goes on like undiagnosed it can cause really serious um, 
like it can cause some really serious damage to your body i met someone i didn't really meet her but like we heard her story at church when i was like in college and she had a uti that went untreated for several years and then has had to like try to find a donor for her liver or her kidney or something like that and has gone multiple like blood transfusions and stuff like that it was like crazy and so ever since then i've just been like very like if i feel pain that could be symptoms of a uti i take it seriously and i like make sure to go get tested if i need to get tested as well as like drinking cranberry juice and seeing if like the pain kind of goes away but yeah, it's it's good. You still have that light. You enjoying your in and out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What I got left. <clears throat> Last time I had one of these was when you and, and us went, you and I and a couple other people went to in and out. That was several years ago. Yeah. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's now 111 degrees. Yeah. yeah, it's really hot. I put that up there, but I don't think so. That's just what your car is registering. Crap. Mm. Well, you can use your phone to check the, the weather. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I just got a mango kale uh, smoothie from Smoothie King, as you can see. And Grandma got the passion something. Passion something. <laughs> <laughs> With no papaya, but added mango. And I also included immunity support for this one. all right that is everything that i had this week thank you so much for watching this video if you've made it to the end i appreciate you thank you so much for the support and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked any portion of this video and subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that i am doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i will see you in the next one Bye.